Okay, we're using our CP4, so we're gonna limit back pressure to 30 PSI. That way, if a larger press is needed for production, then uh, you can duplicate these results, but may need to use higher back pressure in order to do it. Uh, this little tiny screw press uh, tends to get things drier at lower pressures than what larger presses would. So if we were to run this at 100 PSI, the result we get would, might not be uh, repeatable with a larger press. So right now, the first of the material is going in to the hopper. And I already see a little bit of liquid coming out through the screen there. I'll switch sides with you if you want. Nothing coming out past the cone yet, but it takes a while for the solids to build up and start pushing the cone open. If 30 PSI ten, uh, turns out to be too much, we can make an adjustment. Uh, it, would, it would end up being too much if we start squeezing a bunch of solids through the screen and never see anything come out past the cone. didn't have a lot of free liquid, didn't have any free liquid, so anything we're getting out is being squeezed out. I think we're going to start seeing material come out past the cone pretty soon here. There's a little film of water you can see, and usually you'll see that leakage before the uh, plug of solids forms, and then that leakage will go away. some cake coming out of the end. The really black stuff you see was from a different test. We're running at 60 hertz, so we're gonna, it'll be a maximum throughput for the press. Wow, that feels good. I mean, it's damp, you can see a little bit stuck to my fingers, but that feels pretty good. Yes, now, we paused for a little while without feeding material into the press. Uh, on a little CP4, it's easy to bridge this hopper because you have to have a hopper big enough to get stuff into, but it's got a neck all the way down to a four inch screw. You can see that pretty steep angle right there. And so it, it has a tendency to bridge. So that's what happened. And, and while it was bridged, we extruded a lot of solids through the screen. That's what it tends to do when nothing's feeding into it. Now, there's, always, there's going to be some. We can see new stuff coming out as we run. But some of that up at the top is worse than it would have been. Got a pretty strong stream of press liquor right there. Capturing that. More than likely, we'll have some as received and uh, followed by uh, uh, press cake moisture numbers. But you know, one thing to, to do is judge the, how dark that is in color and how light that is in color. And really, what's coming through the screen is about the color of what was going into the inlet hopper, and, and look at that difference. So that gives you an idea right there.